volatility. Three police chiefs in the last about year and a half. This while there's been a spike in gun violence and allegations of sexual harassment within the department. The next mayor will pick the next police chief. How will you involve the community in this decision? Well, I believe in open, transparent government, so the community will have a seat at the table right from the beginning. Uh, it will be the responsibility of myself as the uh, mayor to select that police chief. But I think there are uh, uh, plenty of people within the community who have uh, plenty to contribute toward that selection, and uh, I would make them an integral part of the selection committee. Mr. McGee. Um, we have a police review uh, board. Um, I would definitely engage uh, the members of that particular board uh, that at the current moment is not to capacity in terms of the members serving on that board. That includes community and, and other members of our uh, community. Uh, I, I believe that you have to be intentional uh, and under my leadership, we would address the culture. Uh, we would address uh, making sure we have residents from the neighborhood. I know there's a number thrown out there about 100 cops we've recruited and hired, et cetera. Uh, but real, uh, uh, making sure that we are hiring people within the community to address some of the concerns that was asked in this particular question, but also making sure our HR departments uh, and that there's a culture of inclusiveness and accepting uh, all walks of life within the department. Uh, because I think there are so many uh, issues that have been slid under the carpet by this current administration's uh, council. Uh, there's Thank a lot you, of work Mr. that McGee. we need to do. Mr. Perez. When there's no leadership or little leadership, uh, it creates confusion. Uh, I think that uh, the mayor, the next mayor, uh, one of its biggest uh, responsibility is to hire people that uh, could stay in the job long enough to serve the mayor for at least the, the term that they have. I have a history of selecting qualified people who uh, have served uh, 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 very well uh, under the function that they were hired to do. Uh, the current confusion uh, and low morale and in, in some cases, uh, mismanagement of resources are, are all an indication that we don't have a chief that, uh, um, and we haven't had a stable chief during the last uh, uh, term of the current mayor. And um, I, I will, uh, while I'm involved the, uh, involved the community, I will be the person that will select the chief and will be responsible for, for the chief's action. And if he doesn't perform, he will be dismissed. Thank you. Mr. Bronin. Thanks. You know, one of, one of uh, my disappointments uh, was that uh, our uh, former chief, Chief Rosado, uh, who came in when uh, former Chief Ravella uh, uh, retired, uh, didn't, didn't stay longer. You know, I had hoped that Chief Rosado would stay. Uh, he uh, was a Hartford, uh, uh, you know, a re resident born and, and, and raised in Hartford, a graduate of Buckley High, went on to be a leader in the state police. Uh, and, uh, and I was disappointed that he left. Uh, and I agree with uh, what, uh, what the other folks up here have said. Uh, ultimately, it's the mayor's responsibility to select that police chief. Uh, but as we go in uh, to this next selection process, uh, I look forward to doing a search. I look forward to involving the community in that search. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, I hope we have a police chief uh, who is not only uh, taking the mission of community policing and building that force uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, so seriously, but also uh, is committed to, to staying for a longer term. Mr. McCauley, would you like your rebuttal? Uh, you know, leadership is uh, an interesting thing. Uh, I'm the one that's elected as the chief municipal leader, and therefore I'm the one responsible for providing the services that the electorate has come to, uh, to rely on. Everybody that works for me is to, there to help me uh, push that forward. I will expect everyone to operate in a way that is equal to all people, and those that don't do so will be dismissed. Mr. McGee, would you like your rebuttal? I'll pass. Okay. Mr. Perez, would you like your rebuttal? Sure. Yeah, the, the police department is an important department. We have to continue uh, to make sure that the police department is not only serving folks, but that there's no question about uh, that they are doing their best with the resources that they have. 
and the mayor has to take the responsibility. If the police department is not working, it's a failure in the, on the mayor's uh, responsibility. Mr. Bronin, would you like your rebuttal? Yeah, I think one thing I'd say is I think we need to be, uh, let's be fair to our police officers. I think they're, they're doing some really uh, difficult and really good work. Uh, and uh, overall, I think that uh, our department uh, has done a whole lot better than a lot of departments around the country at taking accountability seriously. When we had an officer who used a racial epithet, he was fired. We had an officer who spoke you know, lightly about the use of force and called himself trigger happy. He was fired. Uh, we take police accountability very seriously. Uh, our interim chief uh, has taken it very, very seriously. Uh, and I think our department as a whole. Thank uh, you, Mr. Bronin. We have time for a lightning round. So we're going to ask rapid fire questions.